Okay, this is a video to show you how to plot a force extension graph using Excel. So, um, the first thing you do is you take your data from your table, which you've done, um, and you just make a column for uh, your force in newtons and a column for your extension in centimeters. You select the whole thing, including the headings, you click on insert, and you click on scatter. So it pops a graph, which you can make bigger, into your workbook. So first thing to do is change the axis uh, titles, and it gives you space to add in your titles. Uh, we can do that. So this is going to be, when we've done it, the force in newtons. Um, this one, once we've done it, is going to be the extension in centimeters. Um, okay, um, so then what you can do is you can click on this one and select data and Excuse me. So go back to this um, this chart um, filter here, and on mean extension, this um, this series name just means the title for your graph. So you can just call it force extension graph. The x-axis we we want to put our extension, um, which is those numbers there and the y-axis we want to put our force which are those numbers there and we're ready to go so uh, we've labelled up our axes and we're, we're plotting the right thing on the right axes and you might think well we've changed the force and measured the extension so the force is our um, is our independent variable and the extension is our dependent variable and usually you put your um, dependent variable on the x-axis but in this case we're doing it the other way around so why is that well if you put force on the y-axis and extension on the x-axis um, when you work out the gradient of the graph it will give you your force constant so we can get Excel to do that to, to show us a line of best fit and take the gradient from it so you can click this one you can add in a trend line which gives you your line of best fit click the arrow go to more options and then you go to the graph kind of symbol which is called trend line op options you can click display equation on the chart now those of you who are more capable at maths will know that any straight line has an equation of the form y equals mx plus c so um, M, which is before the X, refers to the gradient, which in this case, because force is on the Y and extension is on the X, is your force constant, otherwise known as your spring constant, which is represented by the letter K as a quantity. And so we've got 0 0.2994 as our gradient, and that will be measured in newtons per centimetre here. Um, so that is how to get the force constant off uh, a force extension graph. Um, so have a go yourself, um, take your data from your table, put it into columns, try and get make a force extension graph, get the force and the extension on the right axes and label the axes, put a trend line on and uh, find the gradient and show the equation. So it's quite, it's quite tricky, but if you send me a screenshot, if you manage it, and I'll give you some achievement points. Well done, thank you.